right, good afternoon, Larry. Um, it is Thursday, I believe it's January 18th, um, 2018. Uh, this video is being shot for Larry at Industrial Power and Light. Um, I'm gonna walk around the truck uh, with you. Apologize for not getting it to you earlier. I've just been covered up. Um, one of your main concerns was uh, rust and things. And like I told you, you've got, you've got some rust in sheet metal areas, but when you look up underneath the truck, there's really, you know, it's not just caked. It's, it's in pretty good shape. Um, tires are very good. Um, just walking around the truck, looking at everything. Now, that piece on the, just right there underneath the material handler, the re reason that gets beat up is the hook will sit there and beat that up from the material handler, but that is, you know, that's like three quarter inch iron plate. Uh, we just haven't gone to the trouble of, of painting it, um, but we can, uh, just showing you the truck as a whole. Um, you said you had run, in, run into one that was just covered in rust. Um, wanted to get you a good illustration of this truck. <coughs> Try to step back where you can see everything. Get up underneath the... Frame's very clean. Really, the, it's the unfinished metal and utility boxes and the iron plate that really tends to rust. It's usually not the body or the chassis that much uh, for a truck that's been from this region. This is not a northern truck. Um, but obviously, any unfinished sheet metal or, you know, sheet metal that doesn't have rust pre preventative on it, um, you know, you can get some rust, but this really doesn't have anything significant. Tires are very good on both sides. <clears throat> All right, now we will, uh, let me show you the inside of the truck. Um, got my guy Jimmy in there. We're gonna start it up here in just a minute. All right, we're gonna start it up so you can hear it run. No smoke, no odd noises. Now we're going to engage the PTO and get out and operate the boom. Outriggers down first. Now I told him to come up there and operate the little material handling winch first, just so you can see that that functions. It's got the red hook there coming down from a, a new, a brand new winch line. Just go ahead and run it all the way down where it touches the deck, Jimmy. You can probably let go of it. It'll Just reel it up. Just trying to show 
Hopefully everything functions. here today. It's in the high 20s. I just told him to go ahead and put it up real quick. He's raising the upper boom. So now he's going to rotate it. The rotational function is one of the most expensive functions if it fails. The way you can tell when one is failing is it'll have a notchy kind of not fluid motion. Uh, kind of jerky or it'll make a lot of noise. Uh, this one is very smooth, very quiet, very fluid. All right, now he's going to rotate it back the other way. All right, I'll just give you another once over on the truck, even from the cab. so you know we're talking about the right truck. it over. Give me a call if you have any questions. We would love to earn your business.